What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode. On this episode, we're going to do a reaction to Milk74 and uh, the issue that's going on with him and uh, back on Fig and uh, Adam22 over there at No Jumper. Now, I don't know if y'all been keeping up with this. I mean, a lot of people probably ain't, but I think this shit is hilarious because, you know, this shit is Hollywood at its finest. And, you know, for Milk, I fuck with Milk. You know, it ain't, ain't too often that you see a young Caucasian like himself rise up the ranks. But, you know, of course, he's going to be the most hated, you know what I mean, because of the, of the skin tone and just who he is and how he moves. But, uh, you know, we're going to take 7.4 seconds here later in the video, you know what I mean, from Milk 74 one time. But we're going we gonna to break, we're going to watch his reaction video and we're going to break it down and thin slice it and analyze the truth and how it works in Hollywood and what's in store for young Milk. But, uh, you know, I'm rolling up this today. I don't know if y'all can see that. You see what I'm saying? Got this right here. Hope y'all can see that. Let me zoom in on this thing one time for y'all. So y'all can see this though. This ain't no major pressure, but this shit right here is called that Kush Sherbert. Now this Kush Sherbert right here about to get our mind right while we watch this video. But uh, let's jump right into it. Let's peep it out. West the deal, YouTube watchers. Welcome to It's Milk TV. Go ahead and smash that subscribe and that like button for me. It's Milk Gang, North, South, East, West the deal. Y'all already know the script. Let's go ahead and take them 7.4 seconds if you haven't already and get our minds right before we get into this. Come on. Now we about to react to this video of uh, Adam 22 pulling up on trail to let him know why I shouldn't be on back on feed. So we gonna log in and see what's the script. Come on. Oh y'all, do y'all wanna let the record reflect right now? Why is Adam here and Milk is not here? Yeah, let, what happened? What's going on? Let the Let's record talk reflect, about that, man. man. What you happened? know what I'm saying? My boy expressed to me, you feel me, that who let the people know who your boy is. So Adam, know. Adam, uh -huh. Adam, Adam. Adam expressed to me that, you know. So we just gonna pause it right there off the rip, off the dribble. He says it's your boy, but the whole time Milk been on here the last two rounds. He was show acting like Milk was his partner, though. He shows acting like Milk was his boy. And look at that grin back there. Look at that grin on old Adam 22 back there. He look happy than a motherfucker. He, Adam be one of them corny ass white boys. This is why I'll be fucking with a lot of white fools because motherfuckers like Adam 22, man, he, he's a prime candidate. Like like Milk say, he a Gilligan. Look at this motherfucker. You industry plant motherfucker. You just in this shit right here just for motherfucking dollars and to exploit the culture. Any motherfucker that got their eyes open see that shit a million miles away, but of course T Rail though. And I don't, I mean, y'all tell me in the comments, like, I've been gone for a while, you know what I mean? I was locked up, I ain't never really heard of T Rail. Seen it just started getting popping like the last like six months, eight months, but man, like, he don't stand on nothing, you know what I mean? Like, I seen a little issue he had with motherfucking milk, and we'll get into that, but, but like, you know, that pressure wasn't there. That should be Hollywood, it'd be motherfucking for the cameras and shit, but. He made it clear that his boy show wasn't milk, that it's Adam 22, cold state of affairs. Uh, milk has done a lot of things over the, you know, the course of time of them getting into it. And a lot of disrespectful things that he feel like he can't come back from. He said a lot of things about his, uh, he said a lot of things about his, um, girl said a lot of things about his kids really and, just know. running a youtube channel about me for the past couple of years is like really kind of the main thing that i was just and i never want to be like telling nobody what to do or whatever and i feel like i don't really do that too much. i mean i might tell somebody to like stop having a certain tick on the podcast or whatever but you know it's like i just felt like that to me was something where i feel like we got to move as a unit I'm running a YouTube channel on him. No, I'm not. And I ain't spoke on his family like that. You sat there and let Nina boy. You instigated him to speak on my girl. You sat back there and laughed and giggled when he did it. Lo, ever since you interviewed me, you've been interviewing everybody that don't like me, speaking on me, and I'm reacting to those videos. Lo, you speak on me. You went on Lil Kelpie Father podcast, Bootleg Kev called me homeless, said I wasn't really from LA. You said I was dying. All this type of shit. You got four some million subscribers and you sitting here targeting me and then you painting a picture saying I'm going after you. 
No, that ain't the case, Lo. You interview CMAC within the 7.4 days after my interview, somebody with Hoover K on their forehead, Lo. That now, we all know Adam-22 exploit the culture, though. You know what I mean? That's that's what he's doing. He's looking, he, he farming for views. He's farming for views and likes. That's what he does. That's what he gets paid for. So, of course, he's going to interview everybody that this cat beefing with. It's crazy. This is the beef on This is what beef is done came to. You know what I mean? Back in the day, beef used to be motherfucking coming out your house. You better look all around and make sure somebody ain't lurking in them bushes. But now, this is what happens when you beefing. Get online, everybody be making these motherfucking videos about one another back and forth reacting. What's crazy is on this podcast with uh, T Rail that's back on Fig. They never gave Milk a chance to even get in there, not even call up, not even not even tap in one time. And it's, it's funny because, you know what I mean? Nobody wanted to hear his side of it. You know what I mean? They want to they want to paint this picture like they doing, like Adam doing. But ultimately, I've been tuned into Milk for a little while, and I could say that you know, Milk just be making videos, reaction videos to the shit Adam Twenty Two be doing. He be speaking some real shit. You know, you look at you look at Milk. You know, you wouldn't think he'd be making sense, but man, he's a logical dude. You know what I mean? Whether he could fight, whether he really, you know what I mean? I, that's all another issue. But, you know, he, when he coming from the truth, logically, Milk be on time. Real shit. That shit, wow. But, come on. And, you know, I don't even really, like, personally have anything against him because, to me, he's just, like, a regular old, like, internet troll just talking about me and there's a million people like him and I don't really give a fuck. But to me, it's like, I feel like I got so much love for you and then also I took your... Let's stop it right there. I mean, Adam lying like a motherfucker. He knows that he can't stay in Milk Channel. He know Milk be on his helmet. He know the motherfuckers from It's Milk Gang be motherfucking exposing him for all that weird shit he was doing before no jumper look at look into that shit look in, look into who adam 22 really is and where he came from and what he was doing before no jumper this motherfucker right here i don't know how he got to be the leader of the culture as far as podcasts go but hey you know what i mean he got the money and the power now he's definitely gonna run that shit but shit ain't nothing new the industry being controlled by motherfuckers like this and the puppet masters behind the scenes but let's get back to it back so hard in that crip mag thing as soon as he crossed that line and said some shit calling you or whatever and a whatever and saying fuck whatever so hold up again once again motherfucker act like he did him a favor but the whole time c mac got up on there he got hoover killer already on his forehead you already let this man's opposition get up on there and clearly t rail ain't too too concerned about it or he ain't too active one of the two because i mean they sat down interviewed and shit and then they, they got to where they got to with, with C-Max saying the shit that he done said, but, you know, shit, if it was really, if it was really, uh, you know, your opposition, you would have never sat down with the man anyway. He was active like that, right? You would have motherfucking steered clear of that, and Adam would have did the same thing if y'all was friends, but this is Hollywood. And I just felt like that to me, you know, I, I just want to be, like, straight up, and I was just like, bruh, like, I don't know if... How you took his back so hard and once you employed him, you still was dealing with C-Mac. You still had him on there for interviews. You still was doing vlogs with him. You still was having him pulling up there chilling. You still was placing his life in harm. So how did you even really care? And how could this even be compared to your employee have to deal with somebody that got their community crossed out and whacked out on their forehead low versus you interviewing all my ops and I'm reacting to those videos. You interviewing rappers and then speaking on gang politics and I'm reacting to that. Like, how is this comparable? What have I said about your kids? You don't even have kids, you got one kid. What have I said about her? I reacted to a video where you said you wouldn't mind her doing the same thing that your wife does. And I reacted to that. Like, what, what are you talking about? You sat there and let people talk about my girl. You instigated it. But you didn't say all type of shit about me. Why are you even speaking about me? You sat there and trolled for like two weeks talking about a fake boxing match calling me female dogs, all type of shit. Wild and out. So what are you talking about painting this picture like I'm just going after you? No. Come on. You could fucking do that. And yeah. I, I, I like, I mean, you were, you seem like you just got it right away. Like, 
You okay. understood and shit too. I mean, of course. I mean, I've been fucking with you for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I understand you got to stay loyal to your homies. You fuck with your homies. If you feel like you're having a problem, then we're going to handle it accordingly. It's no problem. I ain't, I ain't even tripping. You feel me? But, you know, really ain't no buts. Like, you my homie and that's what it is. Cut the motherfucking games, T-Rail. You know this motherfucker cut your check. You know damn well this is about motherfucking status and motherfucking your paycheck. So, of course... You gonna ride with Adam because he done put you on. He done put you in a position to get to where you are to even get back to back on Fig where it's at. Once again, I ain't know who T Rail was like that till a few months ago. Now, now he everywhere. But you know, ultimately this be Hollywood. Motherfuckers will smile in your face and it's all about what you can do for him. And maybe not just Hollywood, maybe that's just the world in large nowadays. But this motherfucker surely is a snake and milk. Young homie, if you hear this, man deal with this motherfucker accordingly move accordingly because <laughs> this hollywood um i didn't really uh i didn't even want to really explain that to milk yet you feel me but this is where he finds out this is yeah. where he's gonna find out for sure you know what i'm <laughs> saying like we what kind of buster ass shit is that he is where milk gonna find out man you was just fucking with the cat he's supposed to be from your hood you was just grooving with this cat two episodes in a row back to back like everything good y'all had the world and him under the impression he was going to be on every Monday. And here you is. You on here with this goofy looking motherfucker in the background telling Milk this is where he finds out. Like, this was just your partner. You, you could have sent the motherfucker a text. You could have, if, if this really how you felt, why didn't you break this down to him ahead of time? Why he watching YouTube and Milk, I fuck with you, but if you watch Milk videos, this shit fucking with him. This shit affecting him. You could look at it. You see it in his demeanor and his energy. You know what I mean? This shit fell though. But this is how, how the world is. I mean, even Jesus' Jesus's disciples turned against him. And he told them ahead of time they was going to do it. They didn't want to hear it, But this is the epitome of the motherfucking world. Craig. You got to make a couple more videos. But, Time to take know, the like, iPhone like, out on the balcony. But like I was saying before, oh, I don't, I don't go to the... 4 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all they all laughing. At least Smack was keeping it real. You know, he's quiet. He really ain't sitting there, so he ain't put himself there. But... He laughing at this goofy shit. You supposed to be from they same community, right? He talking about he cracking jokes on the seven point four seconds. Look at you, you all y'all motherfuckers laughing at that shit. But ultimately, Milk done got his own little swag, his own little lane, and motherfuckers like Adam, they be hating. This motherfucker, you ain't got none of that shit going. Motherfucker, look at you from a mile away and tell that you was a goof troop. How you even get in the door? Two thousand twenty three shit. How you even get in the motherfucking door? Like I said before, I'll go to the side and talk to niggas. I like to express it to the world, which that's why y'all be calling me messy or whatever. But I like, I like saying shit all in front of motherfuckers. You feel me? Like, I don't give a fuck, but. Yeah, but this is. Is you really just going to say in front of this world and say that you messy? And you like saying shit in front of motherfuckers, but you ain't put the man in the position for you to even do that. You capping. Size 12, new era. Wow. Like if, if. I'm not going to be back on Fig no more if I'm not going to be going on there because you the one was saying, oh, you could be the third co-host. You were saying all this shit. So if you don't want me on there no more, then why would you not tell me? Yeah, I mean, you saying you telling everybody else. Why you didn't tell me on there? That shit, that's the wild part. Of it. Buster ass shit. And you can tell it's fucking with no. Just look at him. That's some buster ass shit. You were sitting here playing, playing both sides of what a buster is play both sides that's the shit you was doing but this is hollywood this is this is this is this is gang culture as fun this motherfucker stab you in your back first opportunity they get to advance themselves but it's all good Mel gonna keep bubbling you know motherfucking his following strong and it's just continuously growing shit like this working his advantage because once again you know what i mean they see that he's the gilligan slayer and he's slaying the gilligans but you know once again they got more they got more of a platform right now than he does but in due time, this motherfucker Adam 22 will be exposed. Motherfuckers will realize, like, what the fuck? And a snake is a snake is a snake. They're going to bite each other in the motherfucking back at some point, and it's all going to be bad for both of them. That's my prediction. I don't get about it, love. Like, why I got to find out on the internet? But I don't even care, you feel me? Who? It ain't nothing to me. Come on. You know, he's still a cool nigga, whatever the case may be. I mm -hmm. fuck with him. You know what I'm saying? But... Yeah, my boy Adam ain't fucking with it. But I just wanted to ask Adam, you know what I'm saying? You still fuck with him? You just did that buster ass shit like that? Does he even fuck with you is the real question. 
you fuck with him, man. Hell no, nah, if that's how you do somebody that you fuck with, I'd hate to see how you do your motherfucking enemies because that's a motherfucking snake-ass move, your boy Adam. Like, will there ever be or can he, like, what can he do for you guys to reconcile you, your differences? Yeah. You buy a lot of back on fig merch. This is on yeah. medium. I can't even steal this. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, you gotta get Adam merch. Like, yeah, I feel it. like I said it to uh, AD or something the other day that it's like, well, the beginning of that would have to be like, just stop making fucking videos about me all the time, you weirdo. I mean, I honestly haven't watched one in like forever. And it's once in a while I'll click one and try to watch it. And it's just so boring and so stupid that I'm just like, I can't even, this is so stupid. I can't. Once again, he keeps trying to paint the he lying like a motherfucker. He be watching that shit. And the milk be on your helmet. Milk be on your motherfucking head. And he exposing you. He opening the truth because that's who the truth is. The light is shining on you. You hate that shit because he's exposing you. That's the shit you don't want out in the, in the public. You want to keep milk as quiet as possible because milk be talking some real shit and his shit is backed by facts. Adam 22 is a motherfucking industry plant. This picture, like I'm just making videos on him. The most of the videos I did, did on you is reaction videos of you doing interviews and having people that don't like me speak on me and I'm reacting to that. What you think? I'm going to let you have a big platform. And you go interview everybody that don't like me. They speak on me and I don't react to that. Nah, you interview LA rappers, it's getting reacted to it and all that, bro. You shouldn't be speaking. Every time you speak on me, bro, this is what happens, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't understand it. Every time you speak on me, a reaction come. Stop speaking on me but uh I, I yeah i really don't have like an interest in like passing shit up with him or whatever to me he's just so if he if, so if he just stopped making videos of you stop doing all that would you come have a, like a you know little reunion with him on back home fig a reunion <laughs> no <laughs> keep it G. aren't you supposed to like really fuck with somebody yeah. in the first place before you No. Reunion yeah. with them. I mean, it seemed like you niggas fucked with each other already, but it's just like, God damn, y'all be actually, at each other neck. I mean, I gave him a huge opportunity and like by having him on the podcast in the first place. And I wouldn't even like say that so much if it wasn't for the fact that I remember after it that he posted hella screenshots of his analytics on his YouTube channel. And I remember being blown away at the fact that his YouTube channel was like nothing and and then, and then we have him on and it just blows like he got his fucking fan base from no jumper like nah you sent me analytics from that interview that's what you sent and it said way above average or something when you dropped my interview don't sit here and lie my interview that i did on no jumper got more than uh t-rails more than uh ad's house phones and all of them combined you feel me it do you sent them analytics. I don't remember sending you that, but it ain't got nothing to do with your channel, though. Why would you? Now, whoever sent the analytics, I don't know. That's that's only for God to judge. But I can tell you, I, I bet you Melk's videos is up more because Melk is a unique character. You know what I mean? You don't see Melk's kind all the time. And when you do see a motherfucking uh, Caucasian get his hair braided, you know what I mean? Like, motherfucking, they surely, they gonna be pretty boy to the motherfucker. They ain't finna let that shit come out like that. I mean, come on. Milk don't give a fuck. That's just milk. You gotta respect it. That's who he is. You know, the motherfucker ain't putting on no front. That's who he is. Motherfucking, that's just what it is. But ultimately, look at Adam 22 and be like, where did you come from? What culture are you originally from? So you here interviewing and what is your agenda? What is and he's making all the money off this shit at the end of the day. Is he the brains of it? Nah, look into his family, look into his father, and look into how his father knew Bill Clinton and all that good stuff. If that didn't even pop your ears up, trust me, this shit is real. I ain't just making this shit up, but I mean, it runs deep. Interview me if I wasn't already doing what I was supposed to do, bro. Yeah. Uh.
Not his whole fan base, but like more than half of it, I feel confident saying. Cause and he posted it. He was like bragging about it at the time that it happened. But uh, you know, really I don't I don't fucking like I just treat him like every other fucking weird hater where it's just like whatever. So bro. if he never hated on you, he never did any of that, he never posted any of videos of you, you know what I'm saying, send any crazy derogatory shit, you would be fucking with him right I, now. I mean we we would have a cool relationship and he probably would like still be on the channel here and there the same way that you were trying to fuck with him or whatever, if it wasn't for the fact that he was just because you've seen it. You've seen the same way that he wilded out on you and so Why nobody ain't talking about him about them tweets? And all that, what about him have to go on Clubhouse and them reaction videos of him on Clubhouse not really answering and talking about all them tweets. Why they don't care about that, bro? All that shit about, you know, with them kids and everything like that. Nobody seems to care about that but me. None of them is talking about that. That's some of them reaction videos, too. Why nobody want to talk about that? They don't care about them weird ass tweets, huh? He ain't going to call me homeless and I ain't going to say nothing, low. He talking out the side of his ass for a boxing match that he knew wasn't going to happen and he wasn't going to throw. But talking out the side of his mouth and I wasn't supposed to respond. It don't work like that. Crazy shit about you. Yeah. Unprovoked. No fucking reason. Weird as fuck. I mean, we've, we've all seen it. It's like everybody's kind of AD seen it when he pulled up to the spot and just immediately like backpedaled and back down to AD. Crazy as fuck. I seen the tweets and tweets are some crazy shit, but Ultimately, he's trying to twist this shit, though. He's trying to twist it to the fact that, you know what I mean? Like, that, uh, my phone dying. But, uh, he trying to twist it and say that, you know, Terrell experienced this shit. The issue is crazy because the way that Milk and T-Rail was talking to each other over the internet, you would have thought for sure they would have had a fight at least. At least there would need to be some kind of confrontation. But, shit, just look, just look Hollywood. And then it's like for you do it for the tube. That's what y'all doing for y'all do it for YouTube or what? It's just crazy. This shit. Is, this shit ain't even real. Be looking real, but this shit so far from real. And then posted the video and tried to make it look like it was something that it totally wasn't. Ad for some reason is fucking Joe Biden out here trying to keep everything cool, and he never. Oh, no, I didn't do no backpedaling, and Ad ain't keeping nothing cool. The video is what the video was. I came there to look for you. You feel me? You didn't want to come out. You've been talking, running your mouth. You went on Lil Kelpie Father podcast. That's how I was homeless, one from my hood. All that shit, I was dying, bro. I came up there for you. I didn't backpedal nothing. You wouldn't come out. You backpedal. All that shit you be talking. Stop talking, bro. You be in politics that ain't got nothing to do with you. You mad because I be on you about that, bro. Stop asking people all these weird ass questions. You don't need to know what goes on in the game world. Stop asking people these questions, bro. I'm reacting to that shit. I just ain't making up no videos talking about you. I'm reacting to videos that you put on YouTube, fool. Really even like cared about that or like made a big deal about it or whatever. But it's like, I just don't respect how he moves. And like, why would I even want to be on good terms with somebody when I just don't? Respect how they moving and what they doing. In general, you just don't seem like you're moving around with a lot of integrity. You don't seem like you're really like thinking honestly he said i don't move around with a lot of integrity but once again he said this should be the pot calling the kettle black right here because ultimately at the end of the day my fucking these are just lip service my fucking lip just sound good my fucking just talking a real good one you know they're using good words and they lining them up but my fucking look at you though adam you need to take a step back and look at yourself man because ultimately at the end of the day look at you look how you moving you were you in this lane over here moving like this, but you up. Can't nobody tell you shit. You you the head honcho right there. But you know, from a motherfucking standing back bossing my motherfucking self, I can tell you at this at the end of the day, I should be full gazy, bro. Full gazy, motherfucker see through it. There, he got his wife, you know, they're doing all this weird ass shit on the internet and they got a child. But I don't move around with integrity, bro, because I won't stoop down to that Gilligan ass level on that channel, bro. Uh, I don't got a lot of integrity and I'm just picking on him. Nah, bro, you sit there and target me. You talk about me. You do all type of shit. You just sit there and interview all them Gilligans about me. Had them fly out from, from different states just to interview me. You didn't have people on there lying, making videos, just saying all type of wild shit, bro. I didn't have how it's going down and I don't want no reunion. So why is trail keep pushing for that? I don't want no reunion. I don't want to deal with him low.
Tell him, keep my name out of his mouth. I'm like, keep my name out of his, bro. Or however that shit. Keep my name out of his mouth, and I'm going to keep his name out of my mouth. But I'm doing reaction videos, bro. If they speak about me on his channel, I'm going to react. You are what he said. He doing some motherfucking reaction videos. He going to do that reaction video. Y'all motherfuckers need to fight already, though. Adam, Melt, y'all need to set that boxing match up. <laughs> Have everybody there. Put all these motherfuckers, 1090 motherfucking... Uh, Pino, all these motherfuckers that be on here beefing with one another. All y'all, I pay to watch that shit. I be front and center, man. I'm, I'm clapping. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna put a little bit of money down. Sure, they ain't gonna be on Adam 22. We're gonna have to get milk right. We're gonna train milk. We're gonna have to get milk, get some saws on him, and teach him how to balance his weight and motherfucking put it all into one punch. Cause, hey, man, at the end of the day, this should be crazy right here. React to that, low. I'm supposed to do that. Why would I let this man with 400 million subscribers go at me? Feel me? Just go at me like I'm stupid. You feel me? Nah. You know, one thing, though, with Melk, though, I don't be seeing him go for uh, the one cat, ODM Swim, though. I be seeing ODM Swim on his head. <laughs> but maybe that's because he, you know, he really be out there moving on the uh, on the turf or some shit, because that shit be crazy. I see how motherfuckers pick and choose all this shit online. And shit, wow. Seems like you're just saying shit to make YouTube videos, because if it wasn't for that, then you would literally be homeless so <laughs> why are you getting that because i'm saying he makes youtube videos like somebody who would literally die if he didn't just talk shit on youtube every day it's like just the most desperate thirsty no, hating when he got here i was like they oh, all he see was it. A totally different person than what he showed me um, and um. i'm like wait i thought he would be way more lit way more energy like talking shit like that's who i'm like wait who is this person I think we all did though. I thought we all when we seen Milk pull up on there. I mean, everybody glad that he kept it cool, right? But why these motherfuckers was going at one another with <laughs> videos on YouTube? I mean, if you you watch five minutes of these videos, why they going at one another? In my era, man, they, we'd have had a fight. There's no way to get around that shit. Like, there's there's no motherfucking, and I get it. It's Hollywood. It's on camera. This motherfucker might press charges. You know, we got to fight off camera before we get to this thing, and then we can film it. You know what I mean? Something, cause. Some of that shit was said. That shit, you gotta fight as a man. You gotta fight. Even in 2023, we gotta fight. Now look, he came up in there cool. Came with his partner, probably had the thing on him. And motherfucking, look how they talking. Old girl in the back, we ain't heard nothing out of it the whole time until they start talking on him. No, she talking now, but strategically on the chess chessboard, it's his girl. So he, she gonna move like that. She looking for that opening, and she on his motherfucking head. But they all against milk. No, gonna act like he's still cool with him, but man, let this be a lesson to the world. These motherfuckers are snaky the first chance they get. What do, what do you think this is? You think I'm just supposed to show up to your arrangement somewhere I ain't never been? I don't know about what's going on. Look, you think I'm gonna be just jumping on there? Like, what do you want me to do? Come on there drunk like y'all are? Like, y'all the ones drinking liquor on there. I ain't doing all that low. I don't even know y'all, bro. <laughs> what you mean? I've been on there twice. You think I'm gonna come on there and explode? Nah, look, I ain't on no type of payroll. We ain't even talked about it. Might see you were saying, oh. No, I said that payroll, he need to be turned. He get, gotta get paid extra to come in here and turn up. But shit, y'all was talking real greasy on that rap record, though, with, before y'all jumped on the motherfucking podcast together. Like, y'all ain't, you just pulled up while the recording session was going on, let it go. That, man, we gotta talk man to man before we even got to that part right there, man. We need to, we need to handle this right here. We, we need one another. Win, win, lose, or draw this between us, but motherfucking the shit you said is hard to, you can't just shake hands and be friends. Motherfucker, hell no, nah, now nah, look, you getting snaked in front of the world, dog. I'm the third host, and then look how, look, this shit was probably planned, low. They probably, I don't want no reunion with him. I don't want to get along with him. He talk about, I don't move with integrity. He'll move with integrity. He just mad that I'll be putting pressure on his ass. That's all it is, come on. But then I was like, okay, like he's actually a nice person. Like when yeah, he's like yeah. regular, like this. He gets super charged up like, on YouTube like, to make some money. You know? Yeah, I, I feel like when he came in here, it felt, it, it felt like it was it's a, it was a different but I was vibe. Like, maybe it was he's cool. Just, like obsessed with Adam, or like really likes him, or looks up to him, and he just like you know, people act out in different ways. I've had that theory, yeah, and I know that that is something that is. Before Adam started getting into this gay shit, man, some real shit though, motherfucking. He said the man got to get charged up <laughs> to go on YouTube and record these videos. Because you imagine that you got to get charged up before you get up on these motherfuckers. We be watching Mel. Mel be getting his mind right. He having that plan in him, though. He got that superpower. Adam, on the other hand, you just know his motherfucking... 
you just can look at his aura, you feel me, like, his vibe, you know, just look at this motherfucker, questionable as fuck, but look at him, he, once again, the head on shot off. Looked down upon in the community, but I do feel like he may have a crush on me, yes. Maybe. <laughs> Come on. What type of weirdest shit is that? You feel me? Once again, nobody is saying nothing about these tweets. They act like they don't know about that. And how are these people sitting there with kids? You feel me? Sitting next to a person that put on YouTube and promote all this shit about gang violence and promote the shit with the plug talk and all that. They sitting next to a person that do that and they got kids, bro. That is wild. That man sit there and promote shit like that. <laughs> this shit is wild, bro. Nah, I'm just on his ass. He's not just gonna be in LA doing anything he wants, speaking on anything and questioning all these people about this shit and going to people hoods and getting them indicted a year later off of dumbass vlogs with crack in it, bro. That's what he don't like. You know what's getting motherfuckers cracked is motherfuckers showing the motherfucker shit to begin with, dumb motherfucker. This is new generation shit. That's like holding a pistol in your motherfucking picture. You dumb motherfuckers, who does that shit? It's like, y'all want to go to jail. It's like, y'all want to live in prison. When Y'all y'all like being around men. Men but men. Should be crazy. May the Lord help us. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I come it. on. How you yeah. feel, Smack? Damn, bro. Let the record reflect, bitch. I'm a let him, bro. Let the record reflect, bitch. I'm a let him, bro. Let the record reflect, bitch. I'm a let him, bro. Let the record reflect, bitch. I'm a let the record reflect. Like, you know, like, shit, man. Hey, every dude entitled to their opinion that's how adam feel you feel me so you, you got to respect how he feel you got to respect how milk feel that's how he feel and i told you i was like if you listen if, if you really love doing content with him so much that you just want to like do that i would actually i would totally understand you know like yeah maybe that's your signee maybe you're dr dre maybe you found your eminem <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe you DJ nigga, drama. Yo, maybe you found right your Jack You know what I'm saying? We just tested the waters out. This my nigga right here, but and nah, so, that's you just know. Snoop. That's the first one through the door. Tested the waters out. It seemed like they just used me for clout. Ding, 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 ding. We got a winner right here. Hell yeah, they used you as a motherfucking abused you and motherfucking got your motherfucking got your motherfucking viewers got motherfucking. They podcast in front of all your 100,000 people that you worked hard for all this time, just like that, just to get you up there and snake you, though. Cold shot. Damn, if that ain't Hollywood. Stab you in the back the second, second they can. Man. You feel me? Because, like, you could have, like, you should have, if that's the case, then why he would have, like, why he even did this? He should have already knew that that wouldn't have been okay. Should have known that wasn't going to be okay, man. You ain't peeped the game a mile away, though. Come on, young homie, you gotta peep the game, man. You missing shit right here. See, this is the shit. Motherfucker get too open and feel too comfortable with motherfuckers you never met before that you wanna be cool with. And this what happened. Okay, you feel me? He probably already knew that. This shit could have been planned, but I don't want no reunion with no Gilligan 22. If it was, if it was motherfucking masterminded and this is this was the whole plan, they beat you in chess right there. This chess not checkers. Gotta see this shit from a mile away, man. Who was this motherfucker? This was a motherfucker he was just beefing with. Now you just supposed to come on this podcast and be 100 with? Nah, they was hoping you showed up and you, they, like, they been, everybody been hoping on Melk's downfall for the longest. But he keep rising. He keep going up because he's authentic to himself. But man, you gotta peep it, dog, homie. Yo, that shit could, could really hurt. And I don't care about him stopping me from being back on Fig. It is what it is. But Trill. Them just gotta be real. Oh, we not doing that. We don't really care. We probably want to do it with milk, but we ain't gonna go against Adam because he got the bag for us. He got the bag. That's all it is, bro. You want the job, bro. You still. And that's some real shit right there because at the end of the day, that's all this generation respect right here is the bag and who got it. The motherfucker could be the most flawed piece of shit and had a bread. Motherfuckers ain't gonna care. They gonna worry about that money. And that money, boy. Imagine getting to the grave and God said, this is all you got out of life was this, chased it for this, for this illusion. Meanwhile, on the other side of town. You want the no jumper job, so you don't care about none of that shit. Just say that. But at the end of the day, I don't care about that. I'm still going to do me, bro. I wasn't, I was there at two episodes. I wasn't even really a, a third host, as you could see. Probably wasn't never one to be, but... Adam keep trying to paint this picture like I'm just like going after him or something, bro. You the one attacking me. You doing all these interviews with my ops. You know what you doing. All that weird ass shit.
And I'm gonna react to you when you speaking on this gang shit. Cause you ain't got nothing even involved in this. You shouldn't be speaking on nothing like that in the first place, bro. So I'm checking you. You mad about that. They don't care about that. I do. But let me know what y'all think. Smash that like and that subscribe button. And uh, go follow my Instagram, Gilligan Slayer Milk. Gilligan Slayer Milk. You go to the about section or the link will be pinned in the comment section and get y'all mind right into the next It's Milk video. That's a cold lesson right there. You know, I don't, at the end of the day, Adam probably would milk. I probably, I hate to say it, milk got to get himself together and get himself on a better regimen and around some sharper cats especially as he's getting older because motherfucking at the end of the day a motherfucker like adam 22 all this shit right here they using they chest moving you know what i mean if you ain't looking at the bigger picture <laughs> wreck you but uh y'all tell me what y'all think man y'all drop y'all thoughts in the comments like milk said make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe and i'll be back around